Today I'm going to be drawing logos from memory and letting you all decide which logos I draw. If you're new here, I'm Tyler, aka Tyler Talk, and on this channel I design, redesign, critique, do all kinds of things with logos. So if you're into design, then I would definitely subscribe. So I've done this a couple times in the past, but normally I have either my boyfriend or my brother give me the names of the logos and then I draw them from memory. But this time I did it on a live where I let you all decide which logos I will be drawing. Also just a reminder, I go live every Wednesday. And so if you want to have your suggestions featured in an upcoming video or in a live, definitely join us. We have a lot of fun. Also, I did design and put out some merch. So if you're interested in this Comic Sans is cool design, then you can find that below. All right, now let's get into it. So the first one you guys suggested is the Spotify logo. Okay, so it's definitely a green circle. I feel like it's kind of a weird green. And now this is where it, things are gonna get a little bit tricky. <laughs> it's like a sound wave that kind of goes like this. This is a lot more <laughs> than I thought it would be. Okay, come on, Tether. Okay, I think that's done. Oh, it goes straight up and down. I mean, I got the gist of it. Also, the color is a lot more muted than I have mine, but I, I'll call it a slight win. A minute slay. <laughs> this one is GameCube. So it's kind of like this deep purple, I feel like. And if I remember correctly, it has like a little tiny cube and it goes like. I'm kind of thinking that's the right shape. I'm kind of shocked at how good this came out on the first go. Okay, and then I think below it, it kind of says, uh, I'm kind of thinking that that's as close as I'm gonna get. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, I got the shape like exactly right. Like doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm gonna have to find that sound. I was way off on the font and it's not even purple. I am just proud of myself for getting that general shape down and figuring that out like on the first try. So I, it definitely is not a win, but I'm proud of myself for even knowing it sort of. <laughs> Next is Roblox. So I know it's like a pretty bright red, a rectangle. One of the O's is tilted and one of them is not. So I'm kind of, and I've, all the letters are really blocky. So I'm kind of thinking I'll put both the O's on their own layers and then I can see which one I think should go sideways. I think honestly, this looks right to me. <laughs> I'm gonna do it and it's gonna be fully wrong, aren't I? Um, okay, I guess I'm wrong about the red rectangle. Where did I get that? I guess I'm wrong that it's even red at all anymore. <laughs> now it's just black. However, okay, this was a really good attempt. The R and the B are a little less blocky than I made them, um, but everything is pretty much bought. On. I'm really happy with that. Editing Tyler here. I just wanted to come on here and say that literally like in the last couple days, Roblox changed their logo and font to something completely different. It looks like this now. So if you saw that redesign, just know this was filmed right before it changed. Next is Pringles. Recently, I believe what they've done is they went back to this old thing that they used to have, which I really like, and they made a bow tie. I believe it says the word, Pringles in the bow tie. His head is white and it's actually kind of like underneath these, I believe. And it's like a big oval. If I remember correctly, it's all black. And he just has these big eyes that are kind of like this. Something is kind of off about this. <laughs> he has the eyebrows that now are above. So they're like that, I think. Maybe they're in the face. Maybe he doesn't have them at all anymore. And I'm gonna call that a day, I think. Okay, okay, look. They are above his face fully. This is like almost 100% correct. His mustache needs to come up <laughs> a lot, actually. Where the, the placement of the P-R-I-N-G-L-E-S within that bow tie is like pretty perfect. I really am happy with that. I'm kind of shocked that it came out so well. Up next is Microsoft. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just write out Microsoft like that, in that kind of gray. And then it definitely has like four blocks. And I feel like they would, if, if I was to make blocks right now, I feel like it would be blue, orange, green, red. 
Not sure in that order. Blue, I feel like the green might be a little more like yellowy green. Okay, I'm gonna just keep those colors down there and I'm just gonna like pick up each one. I'm just gonna make a square, fill that in. I'm kind of feeling like these colors are off. I'm gonna say that is done. Okay. Okay, wow, these colors are actually pretty spot on. The only difference is they're in the wrong place completely. But actually, okay, low key, these colors are perfect though. And the font is not too far off either. Even like the F and the T. All right, and then we have Google. I see the Google logo at all times and I literally can't even think of what color the G is. Like, is it green? If I remember correctly, they only, it like only uses only four colors. And like the G is actually blue. Okay, that red and yellow placement looks correct. Okay, that's looking, that looks right to me. Definitely like very circular. So I almost kind of want to do like that. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna call that done. <laughs> oh, okay, almost everything is right except the G is blue. So both Gs are blue. So there's no pattern. It's just randomly those colors. <laughs> but I mean, I was pretty smart to do like everything in that kind of circular way. Um, the E is kind of more slanted than mine, but I'm happy with how mine came out for sure. Like that looks a lot better than I thought it would. Next is Duncan. Definitely used to say Duncan Donuts. It was kind of like right over top of each other and one was pink and one was orange. But now I believe the whole word is just Duncan in orange and a tiny little like apostrophe in pink. It's also like a very bubbly font. If this isn't spot on, I will do a shot on camera because this has got to be literally spot on. Yeah, I, I mean, you can't really get closer than that. Just drawing it out. Hello, I'm impressed by myself. And the last one I'll be doing is Apple. It doesn't have any words. So I'm thinking what I might do is draw a straight line and then kind of like half of the shape like this, flip it horizontally. There we go. And then I can just take out a chunk. I believe it's on the right and be done. If I remember correctly, Apple has changed their colors a couple times, but I'm pretty sure that they like fully kept with the black as like their logo if you see it on um, like on a website now. So I mean, that's why I went with the black. Yeah, it's definitely black. It's exactly what I thought. The only difference is I kind of made this part be a little bit more harsh instead of soft. Like there's is a little bit more soft and definitely goes out a little bit more at the top. But I am gonna say that this, you can't really get too much closer than this. Well, I actually feel like I did a really good job at these today, surprisingly. Normally there's like one or two good ones and the rest are very bad, but maybe I'm just getting better because I've been doing so much with logos recently, but I'm really happy and proud of myself for the ones I did today. I think the closest ones are definitely Duncan and Apple. And I really surprised myself on how much I knew the Pringles one and especially how much I knew the GameCube one. I am shocked that that shape came out of that. Well, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And let me know down in the comments how you think I did and which logos I should draw from memory next.